Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to do my monthly favorites. I have jewelry and a lot of skincare items to talk about. It's been a kind of, I don't know, like a homebody kind of month. I don't have any bags, I don't have any kind of like new clothes that I'm so excited about. But the jewelry and the skincare and some of the things for my hair as well is really good. So I don't have anything on my face because I want to put my skincare on and show you. But I think I want to start off with my jewelry so that you can see it on my hands. Oh, I've got to talk about my nails as well. So I want to show you this piece because this, well, I'm kind of like surprised by it. This is the Sephora. What is this? This is the gift set that I got. And I've just been enjoying using it, putting on some of my fashion jewelry in this box. So let me show you. This is a VCA cleaning cloth. It doesn't have any kind of silver polishing elements to it. So it's just too good to wipe down some oils and whatever dirt that you got on your rings. So I just keep it in the box like this. And I've been putting on some of my silver jewelry. So if you look here, I've got a few pieces. I'll talk about them. Uh, as I go because I have been using them every day <laughs> interchangeably. I also just took off my, um, this is my Chanel Coco Crush. This is the fine jewelry. This is actually in gold, but the rest is silver. Yeah, they're all silver. I actually have two more rings, which I'll talk about shortly. But I have been enjoying particularly this ring. This is from a friend's shop. This is her kind of like her own Instagram shop that she sells on IG. And she's got a lot of this really cool, grungy, quite mystical, very beautiful pieces. This is a silver adjustable ring with, I think it's called borite. Um, root, it's like something like silver, I'm not that sure, root tail, but very interesting kind of stone. It looks like an eye. So half of it has the kind of like silver. It's like inclusions on a quartz, but it's so beautiful. Now, the funny story is I thought I lost this ring. I was searching high and low for it and I found out I just left it somewhere. So yeah, I was kind of like annoyed with myself. She doesn't make well, she doesn't have a lot of these jewelries. Like she'll pick one or two pieces and then she'll sell them. So I actually texted her and said, I think I lost the ring. Do you have another piece? And she's like, no, but I'll look out if I can find another one. So she only had this one. So I was really pleased that I could find it again. Then I also got this one. This is Morganite. I think Morganite, yeah, from her. It's very pretty. It's very princessy. It has little, like kind of like uh, zirconia stones at the side. And I don't know, I've just been liking just one ring or maybe two rings. So I have my Hermes one here and silver. So I don't really usually wear two bulky rings on the same hand. Though you can, though you can. But I've been just like, I don't know, I've been liking silver lately. Haven't been really wearing my gold pieces. Maybe there's something I'm manifesting or so. <laughs> and then this is a very special ring. This one you can't buy. This is, oh, let me, where did this ring go? This one is from... Paris when I got it when I went for a trip with my best friend Shereem we were there and this ring was one of those vintage rings it has you know it's not like the best quality it's got this ruby here with emeralds it's kind of like cracked old ruby but it's very vintagey and she was looking at it and I was looking at it I was like oh my gosh so pretty and she decided to say why don't you take it and it's it's like so so special it's like Oh my gosh, so I wear this as well. I usually wear it on my left hand because I find that my fingers on my right hand is a little bit bigger. Then let me take out this one. Then I have this, this is like my Thomas Sabo ring. You can't get these anymore. These are onyx, uh, I think it's an onyx stone. Very, very weighty ring. Beautiful, beautiful black stone ring. But I think the size is a little small. See, I can't even get it through my third finger, which is where I usually like to wear my bulkier rings on my third. Oh, I could, but it's kind of, it's, it's a little bit tight. Like if I can find them, I will link them down below. I've been just liking interesting rings. Like I like my dainty rings. Don't get me wrong. I love them, but I have been enjoying the kind of statement rings lately and I've been particularly enjoying my friend's ring, this one. Now I have two more rings but I put them, I have been putting them in this Sephora 
freebie. I just like the fact that it's kind of small and I could put other things, but I've just been using it for my rings. I have two more rings and these were sent to me. This was sent to me by the brand called Italo Jewelry. They sent me two rings to try out. And the reason I picked these bulky rings is because I really wanted to try out the style. So it is uh, silver. And if you ever buy stuff from oops, Italo, you can get free shipping worldwide, as well as if you're not pleased with the item or you found that maybe the size is wrong or you want to exchange it, they have a really good return policy. So there is a guarantee, one year guarantee, and then a 60 day return policy. You can try, you can enjoy, and then you can decide if it's for you or not. So I got two rings. Of these two, I can tell you one of them I really, really like. So let me, this is the packaging. That's so pretty, right? And then it comes with all this paperwork. So there is, um, you know, some information on polishing. Then there is this uh, return policy that they will tell you. And then if you really like their stuff, wow, there is a membership program as well. And I'm so happy there is a polishing cloth. So this polishing cloth, I decided not to open it, but let me just show you here. It's a tiny little polishing cloth, just enough, you know, like you just want to give your your silver a little bit of clean. I'm gonna keep this in my box. So I wanted to keep it with the Italo so that I can show you. So I wanna put it here like that so that I can bring it along with me because all my rings are silver. I don't have to just use it for the Italo rings, right? Let me show you the two rings that I got. And I, I wanted to try out the style and I think that's the best thing about their website. They have so many rings. I was like, I don't even know where to start, okay? The prices are really good if you're looking for, you know, these statement, chunky pieces. You don't want to pay a lot of money for it, but you want to have that piece to try, to enjoy, you know, fit that period of your trend at the moment. So let me show you, okay, let me show you the one that I wanted, the big bulky ring. Okay, look at this fellow. So they have um, like a sizing chart. So mine is a... 6.25 us so this is a obviously it's not diamonds but the sparkle on this ring oh look at it oh my gosh it's so pretty look at all the gems that go around this ring it is so so pretty when i opened the box and i was like what that's gorgeous <laughs> that's gorgeous especially when i'm into these chunky rings right now so this is a pear shape. It's this beautiful pink. I'm gonna like just try and show you. It's a beautiful pink. I will come up close and take a look. Like if I wanted to go for a wedding dinner or some kind of like just have a sparkly ring, this is so pretty. Look at it. It's huge. It is a fun ring. It's a statement ring. Like I just want to wear something that makes me sparkle. I wanted to try this particular uh, pear shape but not pay, you know, exorbitant amount of money for the real thing, just to see how I like this design. And I like it. I like a big stone. Yeah, it's super pretty. So if I ever want to invest in the real deal, you know, I've got to probably <laughs> sell my house for it. But at least now I can enjoy it. And I like to wear it on my index finger. Just because they have the gems on the outside here. So one side can close and one side's kind of open and you can see it go around my finger. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty, right? Obviously, you know that this is a fashion piece. So I'm not going to be like bluffing anybody like, oh my god, this is my pink diamond. But for a fun uh, add on to the rest of my jewelry. I think it's so fun. So, okay, this is one piece that I got. I will link it down below. You can go and check it out. I do have a discount code. It generously gave me, let me just take a look, Cat L20, 20% extra if you shop from there. So go and check out the site. If you're looking for something, in fact, if you are looking for like a wedding ring, but you're not sure if you want to buy the real deal yet, like you want to commit to that for life, you can get to that site pick a design, try it out, and then commit to the real deal. That's also another option because they have so many wedding bands. This is the one that I'm, I really like. So <laughs> I've always wanted a heart-shaped ring, like, a, like a, the diamond's heart shape, but I could not commit to like 
buying a real diamond because what if I don't like it? What if I find in 20 years time it's you know a little bit too young for me? They had this. Oh my gosh, it's so, so cute, so cute. The diamond's not like insanely okay. Like this is insanely large. Like you know this is a fashion piece. Okay, you know this is for fun. But this, honestly, it's. You know, you could possibly push this out as like a real diamond because it's not too big and it's not too like insanely, you know, out there. It's so pretty. So let me just take out the... So it is also... I kept this because I wanted to remember the size. Also 6.25. Now I can toss it and I can put it in my Sephora <laughs> container. Look at this. Look at this. Ah! <gasps> Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I'm in my girly face. I'm in a little girly face. So it's so good. So if you are thinking about getting a wedding band or it's like, like an engagement ring and you're kind of wondering if a you know different shape, not the regular pear shape, emerald cut, um, baguette cut, solitaire, and you're kind of wondering if Maybe a heart shape would be nice. This is so, so pretty as well. I, I just love the way the band is, you know, it's kind of tapered around and it's got a little bit of diamonds at the side and there is also the gems around the bigger stone. It's super cute and I could, of course, wear it on my third finger, which is also really nice right it's not too much so i'm just gonna wear the other one side by side you know i picked one that's just like <laughs> what? what's that and then i picked one that i feel is more everyday so so here we go we've got one ginormous in your face kind of diamond diamante ring and then i've got this one it's pretty it's cute it's girly it's a little fashion don't have to commit to that crazy price and I love it. So now that I've done and shown it to you, I'm going to put it back into my Sephora box, <laughs> which I've been enjoying. So yeah, I'm going to leave the link to Italo down below and I'm going to leave the links to these two. Personally, I love this heart shape. I've always wanted one, but now I don't have to pay the rent. Look at that. Look at that. That is super adorable. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Okay, and I'm going to put this one now in my... Other. Oh! <laughs> so we have a mixture of very, very, you know, girly pieces. I think I'll put my girly pieces at the top. And then we will put the more, you know, grungier pieces at the bottom. Look at that. So when I feel like I want to be... I want to kind of be, you know, mystical, mysterious, or, you know, just being more dark. <laughs> then I'll wear the ones at the bottom. These, these two, at least these two. Then something more, you know, statement fashion, something very vintage, very pretty, very girly, extremely girly. <laughs> but yeah, so this is something that I've been rotating for the past, I would say, a couple of months. I'm not sure if any of the videos, I've been wearing the heart shape quite a bit. Then this one, I think you've seen in several of my videos, I've been wearing it a lot. This one as well, and then my Hermes ring. So if you notice, I've been into this kind of fashion, silver jewelry. So this is definitely in my current favorites right now. Moving on to skincare, and I don't have anything on my face. So I'm going to tell you what I've been doing almost every day, morning and night. So firstly, you know, I'm going to start at night because the first thing that I want to show is something that I will be doing a video on. So this is just a brief sharing on it. But gosh, I've been really enjoying the few new items that I got from Current Body. Firstly is the Zip Halo. So this device actually sends nano and micro current along the skin. And this is the conductive gel. There are two conductive gels. This is something new that I got. This is the golden gel, and then this is the one that comes with the zip. So you put this all over your face, and I usually do this at night, so I'm not gonna do it now. But when I do my review video, I will talk about it. So you turn it on. There's a, like a little button here. You turn it on. 
light comes on, and you hear that little beep, then you need to connect it to an app, and then you just pick a treatment and it goes around the face. It doesn't have to follow what the video does, but I will just you know put it along my face, just rub it one side at a time. You could also use it on your neck, except for the middle part of your throat. This conductive gel sort of distributes the micro currents or the nano currents into your skin and it feels like I my it feels like my muscles under my skin had like a massage. Not even a massage, like a workout. There are so many treatment choices in the app. The lift, the plump, the eye, the uh, smoothing, the gratifying. So so many choices. I've tried most of them, but the ones that I keep going back for is the instant gratification the Lift and the Founder's Favorite. So these are the three. I'll talk about them more. But I like them because when I put it on my skin and I like kind of just, you know, lightly, a little light pressure, I can feel like some current going into my skin. Like, very, it doesn't hurt. It's just, the first few times was a little bit, ooh, what's that? You know, you feel like you got a bit of static, you know, like a bit of static, but not so painful. Okay, not so painful. It's just, it feels like it at some points, but you could actually feel your skin go like, especially around the eye, like the, the skin where it's thinner. So here it, kind of, it shakes, it shakes, it shakes. When I finish, which takes, depends, some treatments are four minutes, some are 10 minutes, some are two minutes. My skin feels like it's been, you know, when you had a workout, it has been pumped up. So I, I've been using it for about almost two months, but not every day. So it, it doesn't encourage you to use every day like three times a week. I really feel like my skin is lifted. You know, one of my problem areas is my, this, I don't know, labellular folds or something. But I can tell you, especially this one, it's, it just feels like it's gone up a little bit. I don't know if it's in my head, but I do feel like this part of my skin, like here, it feels more firm. So anyway, I am going to be talking about this much more in my review video, but if you're already interested, go ahead and link it. I will link it down below. You can check it out. So it already comes with a set like that. You don't have to buy the extra one, which is the golden gel, which I'll talk about more. But yeah, enjoying it so much. So let's go into the what I do on a daily basis. So wake up in the morning, wash my face. My favorite, right, of course, is this fantastic Sublimage La Brume. Whoa, I, I just love it. I just like to do this. Oh, that feels so good because I just washed, I've washed my face. I told myself I'm going to sit down here <laughs> and film first. But I need to get some moisture back into my face. So I'll just spray a couple of times, tap it onto my skin, let it absorb inside. Then the next thing that I've been enjoying, which I've always wanted to try, but I got this only recently. I've been using it for the past maybe about a month, less than a month. This is the Cos RX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. So what I'll do is, it's this clear gel. I will squirt like two, like two drops. And then I will put it all over my face, especially at the locations where I feel really dehydrated. So what I've read is this, it'll, this will attract moisture from the from the surroundings and make your skin just look super plump absolutely love it love it so much so this is another thing that i i'm so glad that it's really really affordable so it says here being 96 percent of snail secretion filtrate this essence helps the skin to lose less moisture while keeping the skin smooth and healthy. This essence is a humectant, so it's going to draw moisture from the environment, but it will also draw moisture from your skin. So to kind of lock it in place, like you don't want the, like if outside is dry and your skin is the one that is um, full of moisture, it will do the opposite. So it will draw moisture out from your skin and that's not good because then it will evaporate, right? Then your skin will be extra dry. So whenever I use this, I it feels good. But then if I don't put a moisturizer to kind of lock it in place, like a, uh, an occlusive, I think that's the word, occlusive, so it's to stop it from 
releasing into the air, then my skin will be dry. So after I use this, what I will go in with, so depending, I have two right now that is my favorite. I have the uh, Le, classic Le Mer. This is the moisturizing cream. I finished my soft moisturizing cream. So I'm very tempted to repurchase, but I'm not going to until I finish this. And I also have this. This is a new moisturizer. This is a Sublimage Le Son Perfecto. This is like a very pretty moisturizer. It has a bit of glow to it. But I'm going to use this one first because I want to show you what I do. So I have been digging into it. Then I will take a little bit, like a, well, oh, that's too much. Okay, like this. That's too much, actually. Never mind, let me reduce a bit. Okay, so then put it on my finger like this and then massage it until it's almost translucent, transparent like that. And then I would just press it onto my skin, onto my forehead, around my eyes, especially around here when I do get a little bit of those, um, you know, break, not breakouts, but eczema, kind of patches, dry patches. And then down my neck. And that's it. This is what I've been doing every day for my skincare. Now, there are additional things that I've been enjoying as well. Oh, let me show you. This is the Paula's Choice Exfoliant. I have a bigger bottle. This is just the one that I put inside this bag because I want to finish it and add, like, top up. This is the 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Love so much because this one gets rid of all those pores and cleans out the skin. But then right after that, I'll go in with my essence and then go in the moisturizer. So whatever else I add to my skincare usually goes underneath before the last two. Gosh, I'm sweating because it's so hot. Let me show you one more item. Okay, no, two more items. So this is something that I recently got. Actually, I should have used this before the moisturizer, but I just wanted to lock in that moisture. So this is the Dior Prestige Le Micro Serum Advance. I've been using this every night. So it has these little buttons, like mm, dials or, you know, little beads. And then I'll squeeze out a little bit. Okay, I'll just do it. Just a little bit like this. You can see that. And then I will go here. I guess it's okay. Yeah, I'll just do a little bit. And then around my eyes, just gently massage around my eye. <gasps> it feels so good because it's kind of cooling. And there isn't much of a fragrance. I used to have Dior skincare and I kind of stopped using it because the fragrance is it's a killer. I don't know why they need to put so much perfume in their stuff. But this one is very light. I don't smell it. So here we go. On the eye. Under the eye here. I'm kind of giving myself a gentle massage as well. Under the eye. And then around the orbital bone. I think that's what it's called. And then around here. It feels absolutely relaxing. Oh, so good. So then what I'll do is I'll take a tissue and wipe it to make sure it's clean and I don't have a tissue so I'm gonna just use my t-shirt. <laughs> real life people, real life. Okay, so now it's all done. This is how my skincare is. It's very, very simple. I do have a little few more things but they're not like favorites because I don't use them very often. Coming to one more item, sunblock. So because it is about, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning now, I am using this as my sunblock. So this is the Clay de Po UV Protectant Cream, 50 plus UVA, PA plus 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 plus, very high protection. This was recommended by Michelle Wong. Anything that Michelle recommends, I usually buy if I have a need for it. But this was really good. Like I love this. This is like a moisturizer. So already I had the La Mer. I love it. It's so good. This is like an additional moisturizer with sunblock. And look at it. It spreads like a moisturizer. Feels so good on the skin. Going along the eye. It's been so hot here in Singapore. So yeah, I have been better with my sunblock. I know I should be even better. I should be consistent, but I'm not. So... Since I know I'm going out, I'm going to be consistent and use it. It's just been so hot around the nose, get it along the ears as well. And I've just been enjoying it. 
So I go out like this. I don't even put, oh, there's a little bit of my nose. Okay, and that's it. This is how I do my skincare most of the days. It's very, very simple. I, I've been keeping it simple and I've been just enjoying not putting makeup on my skin. I think I'll probably go back to my makeup uh, in the next couple of weeks, but I've been letting my skin just rest. No tinted moisturizer, no mm, foundation with tint, no powder, nothing. I, uh, yeah, if, if I'm putting makeup, it's really just to do YouTube, which I probably should, but I've just, I've just been liking this fresh, fresh look. Okay, I'm going to finish off with a few more things, and let me put this aside. The next item, and I said I'm going to do my hair. So this is also something that I'm planning to do a review on in... There's a hair on my nose somewhere. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's dog hair. As I was saying, this is something that I will be doing a review on in the next maybe two months. I have been using this every, almost every single night. I'd say five to six times a week now since I got it. And uh, I don't want to be like, oh my god, it's so amazing. I feel there is a difference. But it's so subtle that I I, I think that's why I need a little bit more time to review it. So this is, okay, let me just put it on. And Okay, okay, I can't because I've tied my hair. But anyway, it's like a helmet on your head. It has these sponges for your ears and you can actually Bluetooth it to your phone or your iPad and listen to music while you're having the 10-minute treatment. So it is red light therapy for your scalp. So you can see it covers, there's all these bulbs here. I've been using it for, yeah, since I got the Zip um, Halo. This one I've been using more consistently. The, the Zip Halo, I do miss a few days here and there. But for this Zip, oh, sorry, for this current body helmet, I've been really good about it. Because I, like, as I mentioned many times, my hair is thinning and I feel like, you know, I need to do something about it. I've used serums, I've used, you know, red light therapy. I've kind of like had a helmet where a little bit on the front. So, very first initial thoughts before my upcoming review on this is number one my you know i've always talked about eczema along my scalp here especially let me just lift up my hair a bit yeah you can see like i've got this old scarring here on near my hairline let me see here not much here but yeah i've got like a few like okay there is some here on my hairline you can see those darker spots that is from me getting a flare-up usually just before the time of the month or during that week my hair would be oilier my scalp would be no my scalp would be oilier causing my hair to be really um, oily as well and my scalp being oilier and maybe the hormones and everything I do get flare-ups like it'll be really red and scaly and scratchy so since I started using this, I did not get any major flare-up. Now, I'm not going to say I didn't get any flare-up because it is internal, right? It's like hormones and stuff like that. But what I found is when my flare-up was, it was coming, this red light healed it so fast. I did not have a major flare-up. I felt like my, it kept the oil production on my scalp down. And the flare-ups was like, you know, it was like, coming out, coming out. But and then it came a little bit and it went away. Just for that, it's, for me, I love it. Just for that, because flare-ups are itchy. They take a couple of weeks to heal. And when they heal, I go through the cycle again. And every time I have a flare-up, I lose hair because, you know, it's all scaly and then it's clogging up, you know, all of that. You know, if you have this kind of problem, you know what I mean, okay? So just that alone... I feel like my hair has reduced falling because I don't get such major incidences. Then, in terms of hair growth, um, I don't see it. So that's something that, which is why I want to take my time to give you a proper review. But I see less hair fall, which to me is already really good so if you are 
you know, you're not expecting, you know, hair growth, like your hair is just gonna boom, become a mushroom again. But you're looking for something that is gonna pr- reduce, like not stop, but significantly reduce hair fall. I feel like my hair is, it's not, yeah, it doesn't feel less. Like every time I put my hand, my hand on my head and I just kind of like touch it, I feel like, oh, less, you know, puffy. But in the past two months, it feels like, um, you know, like a standard. It doesn't feel less. Obviously, it doesn't feel like, oh my God, it's a lot more. But I wonder if I keep using this, say, give it a year, whether there will be a lot of improvement. So I am very hopeful. But just on the first two things that I talk about, the, the rashes, the eczema, the psoriasis, which I also get behind my ears here, and the effects of that, which is hair fall, this has tapered it down. So I'm really excited. So I, this is not the review, but this is definitely a... I have to add it into my favorites. I'm going to charge it at the back right now because I want to use it tonight. And I used it every night. I do just like a cycle per night. I don't use... I don't. In the beginning, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to do two in a night, like 10, 20 minutes. But I don't, I'm just going to follow the instructions once a night. <laughs> And so far, so good. So I'm very excited to share more with it, uh, more about it to you in my yeah later video. But if you have some of these problems that I'm going through and you're, you know, you're excited, you can try it out. Um, they also have, I think, a return policy if you're not getting, you're not satisfied about it. So that's something that I um, yeah wanted to share. The other last thing that I want to talk about are my nails. Oh my gosh, look at my nails. Okay, last one, last one. I have been trying to keep my nails a little longer in the past three weeks. Two reasons, okay? Firstly, I, I don't know, maybe because I'm just like liking to wear my rings right now. <laughs> I just feel like I want to have some color on my fingers. Not really into long nails. So I will never get like super long nails. And I, won't, I don't think, I think this is like max for me because in the gym when I want to hold weights, look at that. Oh, I can't. <laughs> it hurts and it's just not comfortable. And I don't have like the strongest nails. So this is like, this is maximum for me. Like even that is too, I feel like it's a little too long. But I've been keeping a little bit longer nails. And the second reason is because my dog loves it when I'm like with nails to give her like a good scratch. <laughs> so I'm keeping them a little longer so that I can give her a good like rub down, like a scratch and a rub down. When I, I would cut my nails super short, right down to the line and I have no nails. Like literally, it's just finger pad and nothing to scratch her with. So when I'm trying to scratch her, I feel like I'm trying to do this. Like, you know, my hand's trying to go down this way to scratch her to get a little bit of nail. And you know, she's just like, oh, that, you're not doing anything. <laughs> so then I started to grow my nails a little bit and she would be like, oh my God, they're nails. So I thought, you know what? Okay, you know, I can be, I can grow it out a little bit. And then now that I've grown in, grown it out a little bit, I like to have like the squarish nails. And then I've been painting it with this. This is the Hermes, Hermes, Enamel, uh, uh, Enamel, <laughs> Enamel Base Coat. And I've been using this to sort of strengthen my nails because if I don't put anything and I'm, I, I'm really busy with my hands, weight training, washing the plates, you know, cleaning the house, doing all kinds of things, they do break and crack. So I've been using this just as a coat. I need to do one now just to give it a bit of strength. And I've been enjoying it. So this is a favorite. Having nails is a little bit of a favorite. So I think you will see in the upcoming videos me play around with a little bit more color, which is a good thing because I have so much nail polish, but I'm so lazy. But now I just, I feel a little bit more motivated to do my nails a little bit. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, those are my favorites for this month. And oh my gosh, my skin feels so good. Like I just, oh, I love it. I love having such a fresh face. I don't have any makeup items and I don't want to just talk about a bag just for the sake of talking about a bag. I don't actually have any because I've been just been using my mini Lindy. I've been using the Lululemon belt bag um, yeah, for going out. So nothing new. 
always a constant bag rotation but if there is something new because I am going to be doing another video coming up it, maybe maybe this afternoon I will do another video talking about some handbags and I need your help to help me look for one anyway if you enjoyed today's video I hope you'll give it a thumbs up I hope you'll subscribe as well otherwise everyone please take care and stay safe and I will see you in my next video bye